Hey peeps, Pinkalaw16 here, recording a video to teach you about a particular subject, colour codes. Now some of you who may be looking at this video may be going, what the hell is a colour code? A colour code is a set of numbers and letters that change what Mario's colours are in Super Mario 64, mostly on emulators like Project 64 through a cheat code. You can create a colour code by various generators on the internet, made by Yoshi Electron. Thank you buddy for making our lives easier on these things. But I'm not here to tell you about how to get a colour code, or how to get your colour code into Super Mario Star Road, a hack made by Skillux, which is notoriously known for screwing up colour codes when inserted in the Jeep box, though that will be mentioned in this video. First, let's start with how they work. Let's start with the first part of a colour code, the 8 digit part. The first number is 8, and that's to tell the code is for the Nintendo 64, or emulator of Nintendo 64. There must be 8 digits in the first part of the code, and the 8 part pretty much says N64. There are other values for other cheat codes in place of this, but most, if not all, SM64 codes have 8 at the start. The 107EC part of the code tells it to affect Mario. There are various cheat codes for this game and others on the internet. All of them have different values in the middle, telling them to affect different things. This one pretty much tells the code to affect Mario in the game. The last two numbers are very important. These two numbers tell the code what part of Mario to affect. There are six changeable parts of Mario in a color code you can change. The overalls color code, the gloves color code, the shoes color code, the face color code, the hair color code, and the cap and shirt color code which affect both parts. You cannot have a cap and shirt code separate unless you are really, really good at hacking. But a basic color code has all of these things affected. Each of these work in a specific order of numbers of what part to affect. Overalls come first, while hair comes last in a full color code. These numbers pretty much tell the code what one of the six parts to affect. These numbers are important if you want to get your color code into Super Mario Star Road, the Skillux hack I mentioned earlier. In that game, the parts have different values. If you insert a Super Mario 64 color code into Super Mario Star Road unchanged, it's going to look like a differently shaded version of Mario. This is because the number values for the parts are way higher than they are supposed to be. Instead, we have to do some math and minus 20 from the first number on the two digits of the end. The second number or letter stays untouched. If you want more information on how this trick works, check into the fourth dimension. The trick is mentioned in part 10. For example, an overalls value may be 22, but to put it into Star Road, it has to be 02. It mostly works fine until people get to these babies. Remember when I said that there has to be 8 digits in the first part of the code? It can't insert 10 because 10 is a 1 and a 0. Instead, the code puts A as a placeholder for 10. What's 10 minus 2? Eight. So these turn into these. Now, the first part of everyone's color code is the exact same unless you're using a power code, which I don't know why you would because the generators start with the default NTSC and the USA ROM is easier to find and much more accessible to use with color codes, even for an Australian like me who uses power for TVs and stuff. But everyone's first part of the color code is the exact same no matter whose you're looking at, whether it be Starman 3's, Mario Mario 5421's, or even Video Game Guy 101's. Now for the four digit part, and this is extremely easy. This is the actual color part of the code. There are so many values and I don't expect you to remember them all. Because seriously, how can anyone memorize every single color from this thing seen on a million programs that use colors? Even I don't. But there is one value I would like you to remember for every single part of the code if you see it. 0, 0, 0, 0. 0 means no color, and 4 of them is black. Pure black. Whenever you see 8 lines of this value, that part of the code is pure black. Think of it like a tube of lollies. The 8 digit part of the code is the case that holds the information on what it is, and the 4 digit part are the lollies, they're different all the time. 
Well, the eight-digit part is the cake, and the four-digit part is the icing and sprinkles, which are different every time. Color codes work similarly to these things. Now that we know how color codes work, let's go over a technique I mentioned in my update video that was uploaded on my birthday. I mentioned a technique called body color part transferring, and I'm sure none of you knew what I meant. The thing is, the four-digit part of the color code is a color. It applies to all parts of Mario. The same color is not a different set if it's on the gloves or shoes if it was originally on the overalls, for example. Instead, to do this technique I'm mentioning, you get the part of the code you want to transfer the color to and insert the color values into that other code. Like say you wanted my cap and shirt color, but you wanted it to be on the shoes. All you need to do is to get the shoes code and insert the four digit values in the shoes part of the code and voila, it's the exact same color, only on the shoes. Each color value that isn't black has two lines of four digits that are repeated every second line. So you end up with codes looking like this in every single color code. Black, pure black, is repeated across all eight lines with no other digits, which is why it's pure black. These color values work exactly the same regardless what part you put it on. That's why I mentioned that there's 0000, zero, zero, zero on eight lines of code in the color code, you find that part is going to be pure black. It works for all colors except for the naked Mario code. Now I only have this code because of exposure to Super Mario Glitchy 4 so blame him. But the gloves code looks like this when you insert it in, as a result, it's the only kind of color code that is halved, but works. More on that soon. Now I'm going to tell you about two types of color codes that I absolutely hate working with. Those are not full color codes, and fragmented color codes. Let's start with the not full color code first. A full color code has 48 lines of code and covers 6 parts with a color. There are 8 lines for each part of a code. 8 times 6 is 48, so a full color code has 48 lines and starts within the 20, 0 range on the body part bit and ends with the A's. If there are any missing lines or if it looks particularly short, it is a not full color code. The easiest way to find out if it is, is by filming it. Most not full color codes are designed to work with some of Mario's default color set. And this makes it a pain when filming because codes can't be reversed unless you reset the ROM with the color code off. For example, this is a not full color code in the usual way one works. This is filmed directly after Mario. This is the exact same code, only filmed after my color code. Looks weird, doesn't it? This is because the gloves, shoes, face, and hair code are not stabilized and since there's no code there, it goes with whatever the code's supposed to affect, and you can't turn codes off completely unless you reset, so the only value the game has got is the values from my color code, but they aren't really there. There is no code in these areas, so this makes it an absolute pain when filming them. Here's a big example of a not full color code, Mario Mario 54321. His color code may look full in literally all areas, his face, overalls, gloves, shoes, and shirt and cap all have a code on them. But have you ever noticed on different people's videos something up with his hair code? Being black in one video, then being yellow in another? This is because his color code is a not full color code. The hair code is missing from the six parts. People forget his color code works with Mario's default code and film him after other people not realizing that his color code is not full. A way to avoid this for yourself is to just put a value on every bit of code. Make sure it all, all leads up to the A's at the end. If you need the pale skin values then just ask me because I have them in my cheat boxes. Now for fragmented color codes, which work similarly to not full color codes but in a worse way. They're rare to come across, but awful to work with. These color codes require Mario to even have the color looking normal. Let me show you. This is Wario's color code, the one I found on the internet and the one Mario Mario 5021 uses. This is filmed directly after Mario's default color set. This is the color code after filming my color code. 
I've made no alterations and I haven't even switched codes. This is the exact same code. Why does this happen? First of all, it's a not full color code, but look at it! This is only six lines of code, dragged from different values, too. Without eight lines of code in one part, the part is not even stable enough to bring out its true color unless Mario comes right before the code in the filming line. Otherwise, it looks like a mess. This is an extreme pain of a color code to work with. If you don't want a color code like this, then make sure you're using a generator that you copy and paste from by using the keyboard. You get every line of code. Otherwise, you'll end up with a fragmented color code, and so far, I've seen two users with fragmented color codes I've downloaded, and I won't mention their names. So that is how color codes work. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video, whatever it may be. See y'all. Have a good day. Peace.